Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Iridium Axel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a write on text effect in HitFilm Express. We're doing this in Pro, but that's because I felt like using Pro today. This is entirely possible in Express, and it's something that bugged me for a long time because I did not know how to do it. So, without further ado, here's what it's going to look like. And let's get started. So, we're going to go to New, Create a Composite Shot. And then we're going to go to our layers, create a plane layer, and create a text layer. We're going to hide the visibility of the plane layer, go to our text, type whatever it is we're typing, has to be something true, such as that. I'm going to do control A so that I can edit my text real quick, get it to the correct font, make it a bunch bigger, and then center my text. Good, good, good. So now we're going to go to effects since our text is ready and we're going to type set. Apply the set matte effect to your text. Go into its options, set the source layer to the plane and the blend mode to subtract. So now we can see our invisible plane is covering up the letters and if we go to it and move it out the way, we can see the text is revealed as the plane moves out the way. So what we're going to do for the rest of our effect, we can minimize the text, open up the transform tab here, and before we do anything, we want to go to one second, and that's in preparation for an effect we're going to do later. So just move both of both the text and the plane up to that point, then make sure you select only the plane, move your plane to right before the eye, so like right here, and then we're going to go to position and add a keyframe. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five frames ahead using the period key, and then we'll uncover the eye. If you're wondering how to go back if you do too many frames or whatever, although doing six frames by mistake isn't a big deal, you can hit the comma key and that goes back a frame. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five yet again, then uncover the A, and so on. All right, so now we have all of our text uncovered, but if we did it like this, it would be kind of a smooth transition from letter to letter. We don't want that. So we're going to select all of these keyframes and go to constant. This will make it choppy as if someone was actually typing. So let's hit play. And it looks like someone is typing. Good. So next, what we're going to add is this little flashy bar right here that moves along with the text. And that's actually really easy to do. So let's minimize our plane, go to new layer, create another plane. And then we're going to drop that down and go to scale. We're going to unlink the two scale variables so that we can change it to the size that we want. I find about 12 and 2% works best for this size of text that I'm using. And we're going to center it under the eye, something like that. Now that we've done that, we're going to go to 0, 0, go to opacity, turn on keyframing. Now we're going to move to the 20th frame mark or in... A 30 FPS timeline that would be the 10 frame mark or if you want to do half a second between flashes on and off you can go to the 15 frame time mark it all just depends on what you're wanting to do so I'm gonna do once every 20 frames so we go to 20 frames in and change it to 0 then to 40 frames in change it to 100 then to 60 frames in, change it to zero, and I'm going to copy these, then paste. Then I'm going to come right there onto the next one, copy all of these, right click, copy, right click, paste. Copy all of these, right click, copy. All right, that should be plenty enough keyframes. 
just like with the plane, we're going to want to set those all to constant. So now it flashes straight on and off like that. Great. So there's one last thing we need to do to get it to move. We're going to parent it to the first plane we made so it'll move along with that. Let's hit play. All right, I had to deal with a slight issue here and I'm gonna tell you how to fix it if you encounter it. So when I hit play, for some reason, it set the position of my bar here to like way off screen. And I'm not positive why that is, but an easy fix for it is to just come back and go to zero, zero, move it to where you want. Although you don't even have to be at zero, zero because the position is not actually keyframed. It's only moving because it's parented to new plane 18. So once you position it back where it belongs, you'll get the desired effect. All right, now at the end here, it may look like this bar is a little far out. So what we're gonna do is open up our new plane 18, go to the last keyframe, right there and we're just going to move it a little bit closer and hopefully that will yep that makes it so that our bar is more accurately positioned to where we want it to be so you can edit it after the fact on the last keyframe and make it look a little more accurate now there's one last thing we want to add and that's just some sound you can get this off of youtube from royalty free places or you can find it on the internet elsewhere for sure. Uh, so I'm just going to drag in my writing sound effect. I'm going to right click on it, hover over options, hit show waveform. I'm going to go to my plane so that I can see where the keyframes are. And I'm going to zoom in, cut right before the sound starts, remove all that, and move my sound clip to right there. Then I'm going to hit cut right here. And remove the excess sound. So we have the sound effect just for a while our text is appearing on screen. And that is how you do the write on text effect in HitFilm Express. If you didn't understand something or if this was just too advanced for you, I recommend you check out my HitFilm Express 2018 basics tutorial. I cover most things that you can do in this software there, so it may help you out. Anyway, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.